Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Donna and if you're new here and you like fashion, style, luxury handbags, then don't forget to subscribe below and hit that notification bell. So today we're going to be talking about five bags that will never go out of style. Without further ado, let's get started. So if you guys remember, a few weeks ago we spoke about bags that will never go out of style. This is part two of that video. And in that video, we had a little challenge. We could not mention more than one bag from the same designer or house. So for this video, unfortunately, Hermes, Dior, Louis Vuitton, YSL, as well as Chanel are off the table. And I will be speaking about prices. All the prices I do mention are in US dollars, as well they're the prices of a new bag. So if you were to walk into the boutique and purchase the bag, that would be the price. Reminder, if you decide to go the pre-loved route, you can save quite a bit of money, so the prices will be lower than the prices I do mention in this video. So, for bag number one, and that is the Givenchy Antigona. So this bag usually goes for about 1,800 to 2,500 US dollars. And honestly, this bag is more of the newcomer to the group. It's the most recent addition to the bags that will never go out of style, in my opinion. It was first released in 2011 and I feel that because of its unique trapezoid shape, Givenchy really played on their, their shapes with this bag. I mean, it's a trapeze shape and then the logo is in like a little triangle, if you can see in the picture above. The shape is unique. I feel at the same time it's so subtle, understated. It has such a sophisticated look that it will be in style in years to come. Givenchy really did a good job with this bag, with the simple leathering in the center. It makes this bag a classic that is here to stay for a long time. So for bag number two, and that for me is the Fendi Peekaboo bag. Now this bag is iconic for Fendi. It's on the same level as the Fendi baguette for all those Fendi fans out there. And this bag is usually, I feel like it's a little bit pricier than the Fendi baguette. Actually, it is a little bit pricier than the Fendi baguette. This bag goes for around 3,300 to 5,000 US dollars. Honestly, the shape is so classic. You look at it, you would it kind of has that Hermes Kelly feel. What I do like about the Fendi Peekaboo, however, is that they like to get creative with the interiors. My personal favorites are the ones that have the, the Zuka pattern or the Pekin pattern inside. So if you open the bag or if you leave it open, you can kind of see the, the Fendi print inside. I feel like it's a nice nod to the, the fashion house. But seriously, because this bag is so classic, but Fendi always keeps it interesting and entertaining with their little tweaks and new renditions they do every year, that you can't really get fed up with this bag. It's honestly an iconic bag that will be in style for years and years to come as well. Bag number three, and this one is the Celine Classic Bag. The name of this bag honestly says it all. It's a classic bag. It's square shape. There's no logo at all. It has a simple gold hardware buckle. It's virtually impossible for this bag to go out of style. I mean, there's not much more I can say about this bag. It's so simple. It elevates any outfit, whether you're wearing it with a pair of jeans or a dress or you try to dress it up a little bit with a fancier outfit. It honestly matches everything. As for the prices, they are kind of on the pricier side considering their simplicity. But honestly, the, the workmanship, the craftsmanship is amazing on these bags. The leather is great. They do go for between 3,000 to 4,000 US dollars. However, if you do decide to go for an exotic skin, either lizard or crocodile or whatever it may be, they do tend to be a little bit pricier. So they go for around 6,000 to 7,000 dollars in that case. Bag number nine, and that is the Chloe Drew bag. And honestly, Chloe is kind of, for many people, they either love the brand or they they don't like it all that much. Chloe is known for having bags that become really big, really popular, everyone has them, and then they kind of just fade away. However, that is not true with the Chloe Drew bag. This bag has been around for many years now. I don't remember how long exactly, but it's still very popular. People still wear it. I mean, what's not to like? It's a round shape, gold hardware, gold chain, so you can dress it up, dress it down because of that gold chain. You can wear it over the shoulder, cross body, whatever you like fits all. So for Chloe, this bag has stood the test of time in my opinion. As for the price of the Chloe Drew bag, these bags do tend to go for around $2,000 depending on the color you choose and the, the sizes. So if you're interested in the Chloe Drew bag, there's the price for you. And for the last bag of the day, that is the Mulberry Bayswater bag. 
I feel like this bag, honestly, when I look at it, it reminds me of a cross between the Celine luggage bag and the Hermes Birkin or Kelly because of the two straps with the, the gold buckle in the center. I feel like this bag is versatile for a, as a day-to-day -day bag. You can wear it cross body, over the shoulder, in the crook of your arm, whatever you'd like. I feel like the two straps that go across the, the body of the bag and the two straps that go down the bag, they add style and character to the bag and make it a little bit more interesting than any tote you can buy from any luxury brand. So that bag as well is here to stay and the price for this bag is $1,300 so it is kind of lower in price than the other bags I did mention in this video, which is great. If you guys are looking for a tote bag, Mulberry Bayswater is the way to go. That's all for today. That was all five bags. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do you agree with my choices? Are there any choices missing? Would you add any bags? Would you take any bags off this list? Let me know in the, in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.